Hi guys, welcome to yet another MCQ of your self-paced paper in CA Final SCMP SCPM. I'm Anuj. We are trying to be covering up every possible MCQ that is there as part of your curriculum. So let's do this. This is chapter number one, introduction to SCMP. Just as a reminder, our telegram channel is there for your help for all the updates. Anything new comes, any suggestions that you like to give to us, okay, as part of the curriculum, you all... Uh, can write it over there and we look forward to it. Our complete course for SCMP is already there. In fact, we were the first one in India to be launching that. And that course keeps on getting updated as and when the new things come. Okay, the validity of that is like uh, two years. Apart from that, like, you know, you can have unlimited views. Absolutely no problems for all those things. Okay, the details are there in the description. The moment you click below, the course automatically starts here. So let's do the things. Let's do our MCQ for today. So the question is management accountant assumes the role of a leader who needs to make or assist in decision making in the wake of organizational strategy. Now, management accountant are basically those people originally like, you know, who analyze the internal information, external scenarios, external circumstances and try to make the company far better. They help you to manage the company far better. So I'll continue. Make communications of strategy, plans, visions and values while getting such decisions executed either himself or through others. Obviously, management accountant after some time tries to like, you know, after some time, once he has experience in the business, they try to become the leaders also. So therefore, either they do the work themselves or get it done from the others and remain ethical throughout. Which of the following statements are incorrect? Okay, first, an increasing number of organizations are segregating management accountants in separate managerial accounting departments. This is all a rubbish statement. See, in today's world, no, management accountant is somebody who will help the management in getting the numbers across to them and helps them in making sound decisions. In fact, usually management accountants are part of cross-functional teams. Cross-functional team means they'll be part of sales department, they'll be part of purchase department, they'll be part of the IT department, they'll be part of, say, uh, the legal department. Okay, because information has to be extracted from everywhere to be making an informed knowledge. You want to be doing some business. The company is thinking to expand, do some new business. At that time, like, you know, management accountants play a very crucial thing because they are like, you know, spread everywhere. So they are never ever put in a corner. So point number one is incorrect for sure. But let me go through the other options also. Second, management accountants often are part of cross-functional team. This statement is perfectly correct. Cross-functional teams, as I told, like, you know, they'll be part of the sales team. They'll be part of the pr uh, purchase team. They'll be part of, say, the personal team, which, manage, which manages uh, the human beings up and so on. So, therefore, they are part of cross-functional teams. Third, management accountants make significant business decisions and, re and resolve the operating problems while support in strategic decision making. Of course, correct. That is, in fact, the basic duty of a management accountant these days. The businesses are becoming super complex here. So management accountants, like, you know, they assume that role whereby they try to solve the problems. They try to make better decisions, whatever is good for the company. And lastly, the role of management consultants, uh, sorry, the role of management accountants has changed considerably over the past decade. To tell you around, say, in the year 1990, 2000, and stuff and so on. Basically, the role of a management accountant was what? Get the information to the CEO. And those guys will be taking the decisions. But these days, some decisions have to be taken super fast here. So at that time, these guys play a very big role. In fact, they only take most of the decisions that are there because the CEO will be only trying to take those decisions, like, you know, which require very high priority. So this is again a proper statement. So I think after out, uh, out of one, two, three, and four, one seems to be wrong to me. Because in one, what is there, like, you know, that these guys are aloof from the entire company. No, in fact, these guys are part of each and every department as such. So let me look at the options here. I have already told the answer. A, one only, that should be the correct option. Others, I am just trying to go through. B, only three. Okay, both one and three. Okay, both one and two. I think I have already gone for the answer. So in case you all want, you all can comment it for your record. Else the answer over here is going to be A. That should be the correct answer. Yeah, that's the correct one. I'll see you all next time with another MCQ. Ensure that you all join our Telegram channel for the updates, guys. Okay, take care. Bye.